Welcome back guys, this is Captain Sloth right here and today we're going to do the SR-71 startup and autopilot. Not too complicated. Um, there's not much button to be honest. If you click here, views and show instrument click regions. There's not really much buttons as you think it would be so it's not too complicated. So, let's get this started. So first thing first, it's like a, you know, a regular plane, you want to turn on the, the battery switch. And um, turn on the APU. The APU is actually kind of tricky in my game. You gotta like, kind of like, push a little bit to the left. If I can get it. Ah. Uh, there we go. Kind of weird. I don't know why. You want to turn on the generators. Alright. Sadly there's no like... You know, you can't really notice if it's working or not. You want to turn on the... Inverters? And... Let's try to turn on the engine... Engine number one. Hold it for a few seconds. One, two, three. Just see an increase right here. All right. Let's try engine number two. Hold it for a few seconds. Okay. Alright. Not too bad. Pretty easy. Here shows the pedal heat in the windshield. You actually want to turn this on for the windshield and turn the pedal heat on. Over here it says uh, RPM. Basically for the RPM you should just push the throttle a little bit forward. Just a little bit. And it's gone. Over here is the the lights, the taxi and the precision lights. Here is the floodlights, console lights. You can dim it, turn it all the way on. Here's the pedal heat 2, the instrument lights, dim it, turn it on, and same as the other ones. And the autopilot. Autopilot is pretty simple. If you want to turn it on, you click here. This is for the heading. And for the heading, just twist the knob. This little knob right here, you can see it moving right here. If I want to go north, you twist it to the north. Not too bad. Also, you want to turn this on. This is a vertical minus plus to ascend minus to descend. And your altitude is right here. Pretty simple, not too complicated. And basically, that's it. 